Cloud Code is currently my favorite coding assistant, and I default to using it when there's something I want to try to build. Really excited to have with us Eddie Shofik, who is going to share with us best practices for how to use it. Awesome. Thanks for having me back, Andrew. And I can't wait to start using Cloud Code across this course and show you all how best to be productive with this tool. Agentic coding assistants have evolved really rapidly, and with different generations of tools, it feels like developer productivity takes a big step up every single time. And I think Cloud Code was one of those moments that significantly boosted productivity relative to earlier generations. When I'm trying to do coding on a weekend, sometimes weekdays too, Cloud Code has become my default tool of choice, and it is highly agentic, meaning that it can write code, test it, debug, and work for many minutes at a time, maybe even longer, and just get much larger chunks of work done than was possible compared to some of the earlier generations of coding assistant. Completely agree with you there. We launched Cloud Code with 3.7 Summit, and we saw a tremendous amount of usage, but with the release of the Cloud 4 models, we're starting to see, even like you mentioned, the, the quality of your prompts they can be okay, but the intelligence of the model is really taking over. So the ability for anybody to just start building things quickly, testing, debugging, especially with some of the later models we've released, makes coding a breeze. Yeah, I think one of the interesting trends is I find that for myself and a lot of others, it feels like the quality of my prompts is degrading because now it feels like I can write much more ambiguous specs, which I'm not proud of, but Cloud 4 seems intelligent enough to, you know, take something slightly more ambiguous than was possible before and still make a decent go at it. And I think this is one of the ways that accelerates individual developer productivity as well. We can kind of say an idea, have Cloud coded, maybe even do a little bit of debugging agentically, and then have you come in to help drive further iterations. I think what we see with that, which is so interesting to me, is the harness that we built around Cloud Code is extremely powerful but relatively simplistic. So much of the things that power Cloud Code, it's just the intelligence of the model. And that's what makes it so easy to use where you don't have to fight and work with all kinds of bells and whistles. You open the command line, you start writing code, you're good to go. So I think that if you've not yet learned how to use Cloud Code, learning to use it will give you a meaningful boost in your productivity. And even if you've already learned to use it, Eddie will share a lot of best practices that I think will help you use it even better. So I hope you enjoy the course. This is an exciting one. Thank you.